Hey everyone, welcome back. Getting a little bit of a jump start today on the, the products I'm using in the shave. Try to keep the video a little bit shorter. So as you can tell, I am traveling. And the city, which we'll be discussing in today's episode of The Traveling Shaver, is none other than, if you've seen the description, you already know, Marshfield, Wisconsin. But, before we get started on the town, and see the information regarding the town, let's talk about the wonderful gear that I'll be using tonight. So the soap that has already been lathered in my homemade lather bowl, uh, look at those peaks, is none other than WSP, because we are in an artisan in October, and that is Formula T Dragon's Blood. Now, regretfully, this is no longer listed on their website, and... Y'all know that I suck at describing scents and scent notes, but <clears throat> I don't know why I'd open the lid. I can smell it right here. Moron. Uh, just force a habit, I guess. But the scent is absolutely fantastic. It is definitely stronger off the puck than it is uh, once lathered up, but it still smells absolutely amazing. If you want to know Dragon's Blood scent notes, you can look at uh, Figures Artis Artisan and Accoutrements has some, as does Van Ule, and most artisans as well. Uh, now, I whipped up my lather with my craving shaving, get that right, Chop Chop Traveler, 26 ml Duro Knot. And I'll be shaving tonight with my Starling with the open comb plate. I did not use a pre shave, although I do have the tube mendelated. So, Marshfield was founded, or had the first building built in 1872. And this town is in the middle of Wisconsin. There are a couple different airports that you can use. You can find the Central Wisconsin Airport, uh, depending on the airline, and that's about an hour or so drive. Uh, however, what am I doing? I'm using a straight. Um, I wonder if that felt weird. However, this airport in central Wisconsin is really small. So you may run into issues. I had a coworker fly into there before I went out for my portion of the trip. And they ended up getting stuck. Um, yeah, they got stuck out there for a night. So another airport that you can look into is Milwaukee Airport. However, their airport is about three hours from Marshfield. And I can tell you from experience that drive is not that scenic. You're not getting this much. Luck goes with coworkers. I went and drove. So didn't do a boring drive by myself. Definitely recommend listening to some good music on the way out, out to Marshall though. Now, it was settled, or there is a large, was a large percentage of German immigrants. In the town. So you have, you have that influence. There's a lot of conflict as far as um, when World War One, World War Two broke out. Because a lot of the immigrants there still had family in Germany. Oh, did that one wrong. Oh well. But it's a beautiful town. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, as far as the area, the one of the largest 
uh, contributors also like farming and all that is uh, Marshfield Clinic. Marshfield Clinic, if you ever go to a hospital, it's a gorgeous hospital. It looks like it's newly been renovated. Uh, you see my readjust here a little bit. Uh, just beautiful facility. Staff is extremely friendly from the ones I interacted with. People in, as a whole in Marshfield have all been really nice. It's been a great little community. I've enjoyed being here. Uh, let's see. Marshall Clinic does serve most of northern Wisconsin. So, and it's a large hospital, friendly staff, just absolutely a great place to, uh, to get treated if you have to happen to need a hospital there. Now, as far as um, notable people from the Marshfield area, there's Ethan Finley, who's a professional soccer player. <sighs> Paul Galvin. I probably no. Did I spell that? Say that wrong. The co-founder of Motorola. I have Everett uh, Rowell, I know I said that wrong, who founded Rowell Transportation. I probably should have looked up exactly what they did. Uh, let's see, there's Andrew, Andrew Rock, he's an Olympic gold medalist. have Carl Schulke, is an NFL player for the Pirates. Uh, I have Rich Schubert, plays for the Giants. There's, uh, let's see, which way I going here? I'm getting confused. Which isn't hard to do. Man, I have not used this open comb plate for a while. <clears throat> it is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Love seeing the stone come off. I'm reminded why I love. The, uh, Starling. Just a beautiful razor. Let's see. Mm. There's also uh, Mark Tusher, who's on the practice squad for the uh, Packers, as well as uh, let's see, Lee Weigel, he's on the NFL practice squad as well for the Packers, as well, or he's not on the, uh, the uh, practice squad, he's on the full blown full-blown uh, team there. He had Adam Steinrich. I don't know I said that name wrong. He's on the practice squad for the Texans. There's also a Pulitzer Prize winning cartoonist, uh, Charles Warner. He's from Marshfield as well. So yes, Marshfield is farm country. If you haven't, if you've ever been there or seen it or driven past it, farm country. So, you know, the, the young men and individuals out there grow up working on farms, throwing hay, all that good stuff, builds tons of muscle. So it's not surprising there are NFL players 
from Wisconsin or from Marshfield specifically. Also, uh, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and all the views. I definitely appreciate every single one of them. Ooh, that is smooth and slick. Now, I haven't used Formula T on camera yet. That is my first time using it. And it is absolutely phenomenal. If you follow me on any of the Facebook groups, you all know that I love WSP. I mean, that's why I'm using it for one hour in October. It's a fantastic soap. It's thirsty, it can take a decent amount of water. The rustic formula. Which you've seen me use plenty on videos, whether that be, uh, I've used Blackbeard quite a bit. I think I've used it in like three videos. Um, and also Lavender Wood. Absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal bases. Uh, both of them are fantastic. Both are very slick. Both in primary and residual slickness. Tons of cushion and glide. <clears throat> Phenomenal soap. And their scents are not super strong. Well, you have Matterhorn. which is kind of a lighter scent, but still, the last time I used it, I used it before I went to bed. I was lying in bed for you know about an hour or two after I shaved. Don't have the splash. But I could still smell the soap. It's just <clears throat> Beautiful. I still get little wafts of it. And let's see. And oh, it's just beautiful. I do have the aftershave of Dragon's Blood, but since I was flying, I didn't bring that with me this trip. Beautiful shade and just need a little bit of pickup. Not too much and we'll be good to go. I don't know why, but this stupid left cheek has been kind of a problem area lately. A little bit more water here, not much. Smell on this soap. I really hope that Lee and the team over at WSP decide to bring this back next year. And this was kind of a three year 
celebration birthday soap scent for them limited edition but oh man the scent is seriously amazing And if you're fortunate, fortunate enough to pick some up, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is good, good stuff. <clears throat> this is a killer shave too. All right, and I think that's gonna do it. So, mm, yep, that is a dang, dang nice shave. So to wrap up, the razor I used was my one of my absolute favorite razors, and that is the Starling from Fig Source and Accoutrements, modern gem style razor with the open comb base plate. The soap was Formula T Dragon's Blood from WSP absolutely phenomenal scent mel lee if you guys watch this i seriously hope to bring this back next year for those that didn't get it um whipped up the lather in my travel homemade travel bowl here plenty left to do a, a head shave uh, multiple passes as well used my one of my absolute favorite brushes from craving shaving this is the chop shop travel brush 26 mil there or not so thank you guys for tuning in uh, try to keep this a little bit short. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. And I hope to catch you guys in another episode in another week or so. I'll be going to wonderful Billings, Montana. <laughs>